What's going on, y'all? Brandon and Lori, Ugly Duckling Brewing. Back again with another uh, subscription Subscription. from Northern Brewer Unboxing. Uh, Sorry, y'all. I didn't bring the pretty knife out for this one. Funny enough, the non-pretty knife is a lot sharper than the pretty ones. All right, so as always, bottle carriers, double bagged grain as always, good job. Word flock tablet, can of fast prime, blue collar coffee stout. They are speaking to my heart. Fuggles, backstory coffee roasters, narrator, chocolatey and nutty coffee. See, that's what's really cool about these uh, subscription boxes is sometimes it's the add-ins. We know what coffee we drink around here. But this gives us an opportunity to see what coffee beans or I don't know, I'm guessing it's coffee beans. Super excited about this one. I know the last subscription that y'all probably seen is the Saison de Noel, which yep. is currently in the fermenter getting finished. Stay tuned. We're excited about this one. All right, y'all. What's going on, guys? Brandon with Ugly Duckling Brewing. Here with another all-in-one uh, brew here from Northern Brewers subscription kit. Here by myself right now, uh, Lance will probably be joining me, uh, Lori will be joining me, but uh, while waiting on them, figured I'd go ahead and get started on this. Got the all-in-one fired up right now, got the water heating up, told y'all before, 110 volt system, takes it a little while for it to come up to temperature, but while it's doing that, figured I'd go ahead and let y'all know what we got going on right here. This is their blue collar coffee stout. We all like coffee stouts. The uh, grain bill on it, gonna be 10 and three quarter pounds of Maris Otta. Half a pound of black malt, half a pound of dark crystal, and a half a pound of chocolate malt. Uh, got an ounce of U.S. Fuggle and an ounce of U.K. Fuggle. That's going to be going in at 60 minutes on the boil. Six ounces of coffee going in at flame out on the boil. Worflock tablet and Safel SO4 is going to be our yeast. Uh, next time y'all see me, I'll be on the other side. It's probably going to be noisy from the rain hitting the roof, but I'll be on the other side uh, throwing the grain in the mill. So see y'all in a second. Welcome to the other side of the brewery. As you can tell, got Hummer right here, our 12 gallon system sitting on the side. Y'all seen me use this mill quite a few times. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this grain, get it in this mill, and get it started. Y'all seen us do this a dozen times now, so I'll bring y'all back on the other side when it's time to get started. Water's come up to temp. Y'all saw me mill the grain. So we're gonna go ahead and get mashed in. Uh, Get this brew day going. All right, let's do this. All right. Hmm. I think we're brewing stouts and one of my favorite smells. Yes. Can't quite put my finger on what makes it smell so good though. That roasty, coffee, chocolatey. Yeah. It surpasses that beautiful oatmeal smell, and yeah. they're somewhere completely different. Smart toast. Smart toast. It may not be all that great to eat, but it sure is that great to smell. I don't know. I can't figure it out. <laughs> I know. We're doing good though. Yeah, this new back porch shaking thing doesn't work really good. I think when we started talking about the amount of grain build, I was like, ah, it's going to be really full, but it's not. No, no, it's not too, too bad. It's not bad. It's not too bad. Oh. Guess I'll bring them over here so they can check it out. Yeah, definitely. All right. Come take a look in the witch's cauldron. See all those pretty colors? Love it. The chocolates and the roasteds and the how to do all this too. Gonna take that pla that white plastic filler cap off the middle of the overflow pipe. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> and gonna take the diffuser. Switch your room. And put that in. Put that on there like that. Put our lid. Put our recirc arm in. Put that like that. Pump on. It's kind of hard to see. I'm going to do this for y'all. So there you go. It's recirculating over the top of the diffuser plate going down in there. So we're going to get this going. It's a 60 minute mash at 150 degrees. We'll see y'all again shortly. Later y'all. 60 minutes on the mash. 
is about to come to its conclusion. We got uh, less than a minute left before kill the recirculation. Let it start draining. Right here behind Lori, we got the gallon of sparge water heated up to 170 degrees, waiting to rinse our grain once we have the malt pipe pulled. As soon as I pull that malt pipe, y'all know how y'all seen me do it before. I'm going to go ahead and start ramping this temperature up to boil to start getting that wort heated up. Save us on time. So we're going to go ahead and kill the pump. Let that drain off because hot wort sucks. Okay. Do that. Let's go ahead and clear this spot off. Jesus. That smells so good. As good as that smells, this right here. Yeah. Tell them what we did right there. So, because I was in a hurry due to the rain, I forgot to grab um, my coffee mill. So, my grinder. So... We went ahead and took the coffee beans, threw it into this mesh sack, zip tied it on both sides, and manually crushed the coffee beans with a hammer. So you see, you can do all things without equipment. There's there's manual ways to do everything. I mean, I use the tenderizing hammer, you know, the... The mallet? Yeah. Yeah. Which, Cracked them real good. And now they are ready to just drop in. In this nice little sack so we don't have to worry about the mess whenever it comes time to right. transfer. Yeah, that way when it's time to transfer, I don't have to worry about sucking up coffee grinds over into my fermenter. Because that is a flame-out addition. Once the water gets it's back down, down to, to 200, 200 degrees, degrees and it needs to it's be old, in there it'll steep for 10, 10 minutes. minutes. So we need to let it. I'll have the immersion chiller in here, but we won't have it running. We'll let it cool itself down to 200 degrees. Put the coffee in there. Set a 10 minute timer. Once that coffee's in there for 10 minutes, turn the emergency chiller on, let it cool off, get it ready to transfer over. Correct. So, right now we got the mall pipe up, it's draining. We're gonna go ahead and clear that. This is one of those parts I've all been waiting for. <laughs> Have you really? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> uh, 170 degree sparge water. Uh. Go ahead and rinse this grain real quick. Get all those sugars. All the good stuff. Rinsed out of here. And again, like I've told y'all before, um, I already know from using this system and the way I have my water profile set up that I always set my water that I have exactly a gallon of sparge water to rinse over with. And it, by the time we finish with a 60 minute ball, it gives us the perfect amount to go into the fermenter with. Yep. Uh, and we normally hit our numbers pretty good. I mean, we've missed every now and then, but you know. We've, we've missed on one. Yeah. Well, that's because the boil, we had trouble with the boil. It didn't boil it down enough. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this finishing draining. I'm going to come down here and uh, da, 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 do my temperature, get this up to a boil, get the boil going. And it is going to be a 60 minute boil. And as I've learned from this pot before, if it's a 60 minute boil, I need to go ahead and set it for 65 minutes because that five minute time frame yes. on this pot is enough to let it go from just, I am at temperature to actually boiling. Right. Um, and go. All right. So we're going to give this 10 minutes to drain. Once we get to boiling, I'm going to bring y'all back when I drop the hop spider in because we do have a 60 minute drop on hops. I'll bring y'all in for that. See y'all when this thing is boiling. All right, guys, we're out of oil. Look who I found. <laughs> Brave the weather also to come and join us for this brew. Getting into our boil right now, um, there's only one drop, 60 minute drop of the one ounce of UK Fuggles and the one ounce of US Fuggles. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop them into our hot spot right, right now. Because US first, why not? US is always first. Sorry, our UK viewers. Very dramatic. Right? So you added the UK to it, and it's going to piss the US ones off. It's just how it <laughs> works. Look, we're going to go ahead and uh, utilize all of the... Tell us, is there a discernible difference between the two of them smell-wise? Yeah, actually, the UK has a better aroma. Pleasant, mint, grassy, floral. Typical beers are English ales. 
whereas the U.S. is mild with a fruity characteristics, tropical beers, English beers, pale ales, brown ales, and porter stouts. It's stout. It's stout. So there's that. So we got fruity characters and then pleasant mint and grassy. So which you already know when it comes to uh, stouts, Fuggle is almost always the way to go on that. Clean your mess as you go. Yeah, right. Hey, clean us. Hey, bro, we've been working, doing good at that. <laughs> All right. So anyway, so that's our 60 minute edition. Um, the next drop will be at 10 minutes when we put our work lock tablet in for clarity purposes. And then at flame out, it's when these co this coffee goes in. So we'll see y'all in uh, 50 minutes. We got 10 minutes left in the ball. You know what that means. Work lock tablet for clarity. Here we go. Plunk. 10 minutes left. Once the 10 minutes is done, we're going to shut this down. Let it start cooling off when it gets to the 200 degrees. Coffee goes in the steep for 10 minutes. The 60-minute uh, boil, uh, she's done. We need to let her cool down to 200 degrees. Once it gets to 200 degrees, we're going to drop in the six ounces of coffee uh, that we've cracked and put in the sack to make it easier for clean out and stuff. And that's going to steep for 10 minutes. Um, and then we'll cool this wart down and we'll get it transferred over into the permit. When this hits 200 degrees, we will bring y'all back in. So, uh, I'm sure you already told everybody. Sure. sure. Blue collar coffee stop. Blue collar coffee stop. What makes it a blue collar? Coffee. Do they tell you where the coffee came from? Here. No, no. Oh, no. It's, <laughs> it's a locally, <laughs> it is a locally produced coffee to Northern Brewer out of California. Um, this coffee, Lori looked it up, is Nicaraguan? No, it is not. So in here, it tells all the, co the coffee company? Yes. Oh, I see it right here. Narrate a coffee blend. Is that Backstory it? Coffee Roasters is what it's called, and they're out of Minneapolis, actually. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Narrator, which is the name of the coffee beans that's in here right now, um, is... A timeless blend crafted to produce a chocolatey, nutty, and full-bodied cup of coffee, okay? It's versatile in brewing. The components change a few times a year, but yes. So that that's that particular one right there, narrator. Okay. They didn't give us a lot of backstory on it other than what its blend kind of tastes like, but it is certified organic. So this is like the same style bags that I subscribe to a company called Onyx Coffee. Right? Onyx. And they send you coffee home. With the bag, it's the same type of bag. So I'm assuming you can order coffee from these? You can. And then be so on like a subscription. you can order them and you can do a subscription style as well. Nice. Um, and you can get them in like six ounce bags like that, 12 ounce bags, two pounds and five pounds. Nice. Okay. There you go. A little bit. Of, I hope you've seen on the camera I tried to focus on it. I don't know if it was blurry or not, but just so you guys have it. But uh, we'll be back here shortly. Brandon's getting ready and setting up the immersion chiller. And we still have six more degrees before we can drop the coffee. Yep, so. Yep. so hopefully another 10 minutes let the immersion chiller finish doing its uh, thing I'm a jiggy. All right. We'll see y'all soon. See y'all soon. <laughs> uh, it has naturally cooled itself down to 200 degrees. It's time to drop the uh, crushed coffee beans into the wart. So we're going to get this. Cool down the pitching temperature after this steeps for 10 minutes. And then we'll bring you back when we're racking this over into the fermenter. Uh, as y'all, I'm sure, are aware by now, this fermenter is totally full of water and star sand. So while this is steeping and cooling, I'm going to go ahead and get this drained out. That way it's ready for us to pitch into. Uh, coffee has been steeping 10 minutes. Then we turn the immersion chiller on. We have gotten it down to 70.3 degrees. It is, it is time to take it, transfer it from here over into the fermenter. We've drained out all the star sand and water. So go ahead and uh, do that, do that, do that. Turn the pump on. Turn the one without the light. The one without the light, yes. It shall have light as soon as you flip it. And again, like y'all know, we're coming from the top so that it aerates and adds oxygen to the wart as it splashes down inside the fermenter. Uh, the glycol system is currently on. 
and it's set to 67 degrees. Uh, the optimal fermentation temperature on this yeast is between 70 and 64. 67 is that middle road. We'll get it uh, in the fermenter. As soon as it's in the fermenter, we'll uh, pull a gravity reading. And then when we get down to pitching temperature, Safel SO4 yeast will get pitched. Should have enough. Go till it floats. And what are we looking for? We are looking for 1064. It's spinning. Yeah, in the wrong direction. 1063. So we're at 1063. We need to be at 1064. We're going to go ahead and document the 1063 on here. Um, but I'm calling a win. All right. So when I just finish transferring, then we're going to become janitors and start cleaning. And we will be back when we pitch the yeast. We'll see y'all in a bit. All right, y'all. As y'all can tell, I got all three of us in the video now. I told y'all they were all going to be here. We uh, were transferred into the fermenter. Y'all saw that. We are now currently sitting at 65.8 degrees. So it's actually cold compared to where I have it set. So the heating pad is currently kicking in because the glycol system went full cuckoo. We got Safel SO4 yeast, dry yeast. You're going to hold this and do this because I got to pop lids. Start saying that for us, please. So we ended up at 1063. It originally called for 1064, so we missed it by 0 0.01 points. That is a pour off of the sample. Uh, it's going to be beautiful. I'm excited. Does it smell like coffee, Lance? Can you tell off the nose of just the wort? You get a coffee smell off of it? So we're going to go ahead and crack this. We're going to go ahead and lock this down. Hopefully in uh, 14 days. This will be ready to rock and roll. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, like, subscribe, and hit the little bell button below. Ding, ding, ding. ding. See you on the next one. Hey, y'all. Y'all should have seen that hot mess. Yeah, that was a little hot mess. She practically had to swim from the house to here. Just a minute left before the all-in-one starts singing us the song of his people. It smells so good right here. It smells so good. We're going to pull the mite malt pipe. Mite pulp. Yes. Malt you were. pipe. Um, longest minute mm, ever. Ever. <laughs> I gotta do something. Pa plunk. Pa plunk. Crushed coffee steep for 10 minutes. And then we'll get the immersion chiller going, get this cooled down to pitching temperature. And you do not add duck in a pond to a. No. Do something stupid, Lord. Go ahead. Go. Okay. Stupid. Yeah. Does that work? Why? Just why? <laughs> <laughs> like I worked hard. Well, we worked hard to put that right there. Let's just come back to the YouTube video from last night. Okay. 1064. Should have highlighted that, shouldn't I? Here's me acting like I can see this. Yes, 1064. Yeah, yeah right, 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 right there. It's like watching paint dry. Shut up. I am not mad about that. <laughs> You're off a point. A right, thousandth of a point. Put, put it sorry. back in. Yep. Gotta boil it for another 10 minutes. You want to get to add water? No. No, we'd have to boil water off. Boil water off. Yes, no, we gotta boil. How much you drank today? <laughs> Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> like, y'all handed me this like I don't drink bourbon while we're doing the video. Hmm. Mm. Can't say that F word. Nope, can't say that F word. Where are you going with my bourbon? Empty. Mm -hmm. Empty glass. You thought it was just going to be me. I didn't, I didn't want y'all to stare at my ugly mug the entire video. Y'all are probably going to see the uh, tell L six different ways first. And cried it was cold when cleaning. I don't get it. It was my ice. You know what? We were, oh, don't do that. This and do you know none of these videos we have are sponsored everything is our own money Nothing here is given to us. We don't expect it to be we're here for you guys and to you know And I mean we were anyway, let's face it. We'd be doing it whether they'd be watching us or not <laughs> <laughs> So it's more of a this is our hobby. This is what we love to do We have fun with and it. we just want to bring you all along for the ride and if y'all have any more helpful tips and hints as far as helping us along Send in this along. journey 
Y'all send it. We look. We are comments. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. 